Hello and holy cow, it feels weird to speak. This is my second time filming this video because the first attempt I didn't like it so now I know how to answer these questions and all that. So I have nothing to display, I just display like this old artwork of the Squad Bunny line because I have nothing else to put. Um, so yes, uh, this is a q and A. I made it very basic. Um, I asked you guys in a community post to send me any questions you have about me and most of the questions were pretty good actually. Uh, there were some questions like directed towards me and then some questions directed to triple A's which I don't mind. I'm kind of getting a kick out of it. I've been thinking for a while to do like a you guys ask triple A's any questions you have. That'd be a pretty fun video if you ask me. So if you have any questions for Amber, Agnew, or Akane, you can leave them down in the comment section. And maybe in like a future Squad Buddy Live video, those three can answer y'all's question. That'd be pretty fun. Depends if I like get enough. If I don't get enough, then the video won't happen at all. So without any further ado, let's get answering. Hey, how about an evolution line for camping? Also, why did you start with the score by leaning line and realize the channel did so good? Do you guys want an evolution camp? Uh, let me know. But I think for the evolution line, okay, just a little spoiler alert that I might have to cheat because I have to go to an NPC camp to do it since I obviously can't fit all however many evolution lines there are. So, do you guys want an evolution line? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, why did I start with the score by the line? So at the time, back in May, I only had access to score buddy. I didn't have Guruki or Sobble at the time. And when I got Sobble and uh, Guruki, um, I was like, cool, I can make like camping videos with them. And um, why did I realize the channel is so good? Honestly, I didn't expect it. Um, like I just posted it for the LOLs. And like I didn't expect the number of views to go up and up and I think that's where like I was surprised that people actually liked this so I decided to post a sequel and then things kicked off from there. Why just start YouTube and memes and what do you do in your free time? Very original, I know. So a little bit of history. I started YouTube back in I don't know, like twenty eleven or twenty twelve. Um my very very first channel I deleted it. Which was honestly the biggest mistake of my life because I would have gone back and see like the progression of my videos, like the growth of my videos up until this point. And it's a bummer that I deleted and I should have done it. I don't know why I started YouTube. I thought it was cool that people get to post these videos and like whoever like runs across, no, like runs into it, like sees it. I don't know. I think I, it was just cool, honestly. And what do I do on my free time? Um, well, other than drawing and playing uh, video games, I really like going out into like the city or town. I like to go to malls and to browse around, go to shops. Since this like whole pandemic started, it's a bummer that I couldn't do that very much since I'm stuck at home most of the time. What else do I like to do on my free time? Oh, I like doing like playing piano like once in a while and all and I think that's all I could think of for what I like to do oh I like watching uh YouTube videos I like watching like traditional YouTubers like the um, the Try Guys or like um C Safia Nygaard and uh, James Charles uh don't judge him <laughs> I know Shock I don't okay well I'm going off top of it I don't watch many YouTubers who specifically focus on Pokemon stuff. I do that. I watch like once in a while, but not very frequently. What is your favorite Pokemon? Uh, my favorite Pokemon of all time is Aegislash. I thought it's a pretty, like, it stats are like decent. I especially like the move King Shield because it's very useful in like competitive play or like it's a move in general that I really, really like. And I also like the design, which is a sword. And I've liked Aegislash for like a long time since it came out and I just like I couldn't I had to put in my team do you like Primarina? I do like Primarina. Primarina is one of my favorite final evolved starters from the Lola region 
What is your favorite move in Pokemon? Mine is Power Ball. I'll admit, Power Ball is pretty cool as well. I like the animation, and I love how powerful it is, but my overall favorite move is Dazzling Gleam because it's such a useful move in double battles. Also, it's very, very pretty. I know it doesn't have like a secondary effect, which is sad, but I just like Dazzling Gleam overall. It's just a really, really pretty move. How'd you come up with your names for the Pokemon? Some of them come up from the top of my head and others I had to do research. Uh, let me just give some examples here. So, Ambos came up from the top of my head, somewhat. Because the first thing I saw on Amber was like the color of her eyes and part of the hoodie. And it's just like deep red slash orange. And that's like the name, what Amber means in general. It's like red or orange. So she looks like an Amber to me. And others like the Mucket Blood, I had to research on that because it was really hard to come up with them, their names. So I just like searched up nicknames for Swampert and then Captain was the first one that came up and I was like, okay, I'll go with Captain and then, then I could like work off with like the other ones. Um, and some of them, I named them off like things I like. So for example, I like Sonic the Hedgehog other than Pokemon. So, with that, I named like the Sobble family after members of Team Chaotix. So, Sobble's Charming, Drizzly is uh, Ispio, and Italian's name is Vector. All those like three members of Chaotix. Out of every bunnies, which one is the best one to be partners with? Cinderace, obviously. Well, okay, love it or hate it, Cinderace is arguably very popular in Japan from what I have heard or seen on Twitter. But it's just a really good Pokemon to use. It has like a really good speed stat, it has really good attack, base stat, and it's also pretty good competitive play. I'm not sure if they're still in competitive play. I think the legendaries are taking over and knocking Cinderace out of the top rank. <laughs> Rip. I'm not saying that I like Cinderace all the way. I still like really boom and tell you it's just Cinderace is like my best one to be partners with. Also, he's really cute and fluffy and we love a fluffy rabbit. How did you get the starter family? Like, how did you get all of them and the evolutions? I feel like I need to make a full length video on this. I don't know if you guys want it, but it's actually a pretty simple process. Um, breeding and then evolving the one of them into like the second stage and then giving them Everstone. And for the very very first evolution line, I get I give them the Everstone. So I gave Agni the Everstone as soon as he hatched, and then I gave Amber an Everstone as soon as she evolved, and then that goes for like the rest of the evolution lines as well. As for like the rest, um. Some, uh, most of them originate from Pokemon Home, but some had to breed because I don't think they're nicknameable. And if you get them from Pokemon Home, well, I tried it with the po Pokemon I transferred from Pokemon Go, and you can't nickname them, but you can only nickname them once, which is really sad. But I hope that kind of answers the question. I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place, but let me just like put this in one nutshell. Breeding, Everstones, and Pokemon Home. Hi, new here. What started this is the Hepacific I can't read. Hi, new here. What started the desire to make these videos? Also love how the ball is boy stolen. Be fun to see a team of ball thieves playing together. Well, first of all, welcome to my channel. And second of all, do you guys want like a Pokemon camp, but it's ball thieves? <laughs> That'd be pretty fun a fresh video. Um what started the decide to make these videos? It was when the very first score bunny video suddenly blew up on my channel and then it literally went from there. Honestly, I didn't expect myself to be posting Pokemon videos. I just posted the first score bunny video for like literally the LOLs and uh, a lot of people like it. I do enjoy po making Pokemon videos. I don't regret it, regret it at all. And I just want to make people smile, like through like the Pokemon camp vids. What is your favorite game, and who is your favorite character on this channel, and what is your favorite Pokemon? I'm going to answer the first two from here because I've already answered the what's my favorite Pokemon. 
Uh, my favorite game other than Pokemon Sword, I really like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I also like Mario Sonic. Also, I like Team Sonic Racing, and I also like Project Diva. Actually, I think I recently got Project Diva, and I really love it. And my favorite character on this channel, I don't know. I like every character for like different reasons, but. I have to say either Charming from Sobble Family or Amber. Amber we'll get to later, but I really like Charming because he's so cute and so precious and he's also really funny when it comes to racing. <laughs> Do you prefer Disney or DreamWorks? I prefer Disney because that is what I grew up with. I grew up with Cinderella and then I watched like some Disney movies like I watched Frozen, Maleficent. I'm more familiar with the Disney franchise than the DreamWorks. I still like DreamWorks. I don't remember if I watched a movie from DreamWorks. Literally, literally the only movie I could think of is Shrek. But I didn't watch the full movie because I got scared of it when I was like a kid. But yeah, I prefer Disney over DreamWorks just because I'm more familiar with anything Disney related. On your last community post, I mentioned Akane being the Japanese name of the Golden Rod Gym Leader Whitney and how she happens to be wearing a baseball outfit every time you see her. Is this sporty name connection between Whitney the baseball lover and Akane the soccer playing ball thief a coincidence or did you know beforehand? It wasn't a coincidence and I did not name Akane after Whitney's Japanese name Akane and I didn't know this beforehand. Uh, I named Akane after Hino Akane from Smile Pretty Care because both of them have like this sporty theme going on and have moves similar somewhat and also uh, their theme color is like orange. The difference is that in Smile Pretty Care, Kia Sunny aka Akane's alter ego spikes the fireball to the opponent whereas Cinderace as we know kicks up a pebble into a fireball and like launches at the opponent. What music do each of the members like? If I were to imagine, I would imagine Agni listening to like happy go lucky music. Um, Amber, I imagine her she'd be listening to Billie Eilish and Lana Del Rey. And for Akane, I'm not so sure. Maybe a bit of Billie Eilish, but not as much as like Amber. It's a band called Pretty Much, and I also listen to Pretty Much like once in a while. And I imagine Akane also listening to that. And maybe a bit of Ariana Grande. Uh, any of the Triple A's family are original starter? None of them are my original starter. All three of them have been bred from my original starter, Loki, and I haven't really. Reunited Loki with his kids yet. That'd be a pretty fun video. Oh my gosh, I'm coming up with these video ideas on the spot while I'm doing this Q&A. Which is your favorite? Agni, Amber, or Akane? Just wondering. My favorite is... I don't want to be like the biased one, but I like Amber. I like her edginess. I like that she's so relatable and such a mood in camp. And I like Agni and Akane still. Okay, well, I do like every member for like different reasons. I like Agni because he's so cute and precious and innocent. I like Amber because she's relatable and I like Akane because she's just full of surprises and very mischievous. But overall, I had to give it to Amber. I'm sorry, Agni and Akane. I still like you guys. <laughs> I saved this question for the best of last and this has popped up a few times in the community post. And that is... Will Akane ever stop stealing the ball from Agni and Amber? Honestly, I don't think so. Maybe at some point she'll grow out of it, but for the time being, she still commits ball theft, even to Amber and Agni when I'm not making a video with Triple Ace and I'm just hanging out with them for like the funsies. She still acts the same on and off camera. As for like, like stopping her habits, I don't know. I'm um, it's really up to her, but I don't know if she's stopping anytime soon. And that's all, y'all. That's all the questions for today. I'm super sorry if your question didn't get answered in this video. I may make another Q and A if you guys want, 
But overall, I had a really good time answering these, and I hope you guys got to know me a bit more. Just like a disclaimer that you're not gonna hear this voice in like, a future camp video, because number one, technology, and number two, it just doesn't feel right in my opinion. But those are just me, that's just me, so just a little heads up. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A, and thank you guys for watching. And I see you later.